hi everyone welcome back to bookio tv kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and turn the bell notification on so anytime we upload new video onto youtube you will be notified thank you the last discussion we have vividly aware was when i was disciplining the the, uh, the my daughter he was so close with her one that's Dola Kwadijat. When I was disciplining her, then I called him on one to one. Talk to your sister. Talk to her. You all know that I don't condone nonsense. So and he talked with me at length, both at this gate and he here. Because I banned that one from coming inside the house. But he succeeded in persuading me and some other people, Daddy, let her come in. If uh, the boy Kale was my foster child, my foster son, he had been with me right from cradle, right from very, very small age. He attained his uh, university degree until he proceeded to the South Africa and came back about two years ago. So all the while he had been with me. I tell us what actually happened on that day. Well, he left the house. To Kingston John, Itri, to watch Liverpool football match. Why he was there, along with other watchers, among them his friends. Then somebody was passing by with his girlfriend. Name is Mahel. The boy engages in uh, shooting and recording. He also lived in the estate. So the boy was passing along with his girlfriend, escorting that girlfriend to the bus stop. So why going, he exchanged greetings with one of the people watching Liverpool match. So not more than two minutes thereafter, the lady ran back and shouting, kidnappers, kidnappers, kidnappers. So all the people watching TV, they rushed out, citing three men in mufti, dragging the girl's boyfriend towards packed Lagos State painted Volkswagen Vanagon. So they drag in there and the people that came out from the Christian John restaurant were just uh, walking towards the ta taxi park at the filling station. There they stopped. A distance of about 20, 21 meter to where the policemen parked. They had succeeded in dragging the in taking the boy inside their van. One of the team, team members, came down, putting on vest, black vest, inscribed with anti-cultism. Other statement, I am going to kill somebody today. And thereafter, he made a shot in the hair. And the next two shots directed to the standing hair, boys, the crowd. So my boy happened to be the victim. All the lower abdomen, the private part shattered. The bullet penetrated through that. And one bullet on the upper part of the thigh. So, and that was where he slumped. If you see where he slumped right there, it was where the boy and the other guys were standing, quite a distance from where the man made the shot. Nobody attacked them, nobody confronted them. They had carried the person they wanted to pick. But it's unfortunate the man discharged bullets. The police has succeeded in fishing out the killers. That is confirmed by the commissioner of police. I was in his office yesterday and he has been here along with his team. I actually appreciate their visit and the reception given to me and my lawyers in their office yesterday. So, I believe what they have done 
And while we were talking, I made further requests to be done. Arrest is a starting point. It's not going to stop there. Trial will follow. So they have promised me adequate trial is going to be carried out before being released, before they will be released for public trial through Banty. So I'm following them up and I believe the promises they have made so far. I don't have any cause to doubt them. Kolade was a good son to me, a gentle boy. I wish you had known him. Very quiet and very inward. He's not an extrovert person. He could be in this house till evening. You might not know he's there. But when he's happy, you will see him in him that he's happy. But when he's, when he's doing anything, you will know that this guy he doesn't want to be disturbed. So he's an inward person. But he mingles with his friend. Part of it was where he was to watch football. And he was a boy with full future. The family had a great hope in him. And of course, he had all it takes to be a son, a resourceful son of this country. But unfortunately, the life was cut short. He listened to training, he was given proper domestic home training. So why did he return from South Africa? Well, when the killing was going too much, the child, the only daughter he had, is there by an indigenous of South Africa. So when the whatever phobia was yeah, was getting too much, so he came down here. So with the hope that Nigeria is also uh, productive to music industry. The music industry in Nigeria, you know, is also going good. So let him come and be part of it. So that was why he came in down, down to Nigeria. So I wish a lot of things for him. I wish to help him carry his, you know, his, 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 his wing up high in, the, in his choosing a career. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't mind helping my child to whatever level possible. You could be a president and you still need your father. So, however, when they want to carry on on their own, I let them do. Okay, what were the last things he told you? What things did he tell you most recently before this incident? What were the last things he told you? Oh, well, the last discussion we had vividly were was when I was disciplining the, the, uh, the, my daughter. He was so close with her. That's Dola Kouadijat. When I was disciplining her, then I called him on one to one. Talk to your sister. Talk to her. You all know that I don't condone nonsense. So uh, he talked with me at length, both at this gate and he here. Because I banned that one from coming inside the house. But he succeeded in persuading me and some other people, Daddy, let her come in. How does the mom feel about it? How does she feel? How did pass it? Bad, dejected, lost. I had to get some doctor to come and attend to her so that to moderate her BP and then do some other necessary medical uh, treatment to her. <laughs> there is no mother <laughs> that will not feel lost under this uh, circumstance. So <laughs> up since then till now, we have been persuading and uh, urging her to come back to life. The deed is done. Let's face life back in full reality. The dead can be brought back, except if Jesus Christ wished to do that. And this is not the hero of Jesus Christ. It's the hero of pastor and imams. So we believe that he's gone and gone. So let's face reality. I, been, I talked to her not quite long before people came, when she started feeling bad again. So she's not feeling good, but I'm forcing her to feel good. You know, if you are not, if, if you are a man of faith and you believe in God, Islamically, whatever that happened to you, we ascribe it to the act of God. Likewise, all the good men in the Christendom, they believe that what happens to them is act of God. Thank you so much for watching Bookie O TV. Do not forget to comment below, share this video, and click on that subscribe button.
and remember to tap the notification bell so you will be notified anytime we upload new video onto YouTube. Until I come your way again, stay beautifully blessed.